Quelle est la gestion courante de la maladie Comment les familles, comment les patients gèrent cette affection au quotidien so, Many years ago, we did not know how to treat the patient because we did not recognize the problems that the patient may experience. So what are the problems? The first problem is the breathing that we talked about. And if the breathing is decreased, we now have machines that are called BiPAP, bi-level positive air pressure, similar to CPAP for people who have sleep problems, sleep apnea. CPAP stands for continuous positive air pressure. That opens the back of the throat. BiPAP stands for bi-level positive air pressure, that expands the lungs. The machine breathes in when you breathe in, you breathe out and the machine breathes in a little bit, and that enables you to expand your lungs and improves oxygen, it improves everything, and actually slows the rate of progression of disease. The second problem is nutrition it is sometimes difficult to begin swallowing with ALS because as it involves speech, it then involves swallowing. But the patients who do the best weigh the most. We're the opposite of the cardiologist. We want our patients gaining weight because that's good nutrition. So you must make sure that the patients are not coughing or choking because if food gets into the lungs, it causes pneumonia. So attention to nutrition and the right foods is important. The third major problem is if you've got stiffness from increased reflexes, or if you've got weakness and you are tripping and falling, falling will aggravate the disease. So we have a big team you need physical therapists to show you how to walk properly, to teach you, to train you, and we need exercise because you must exercise, but safely, so you're not falling. We have occupational therapists that can help you with the implements so you can feed. We have swallowing dietitians who help this. We have lung doctors who will help you with the breathing. We have doctors who will help with the increased saliva. But all of these together have allowed us to expand the length of life and the quality of life for our ALS patients. They're living much longer now with better quality because of this treatment by a team approach.